Ciao ragazzi, benvenuti al canale Spazio Gaming. In questo e nei prossimi video mostrerò il gameplay di Metaphor, Re Fantasio. Quindi se volete seguire la narrazione della storia, lo svolgersi delle missioni, dei legami, gli scontri con i boss e lo sviluppo degli archetipi, questo è il canale da seguire. All right. Things will be fine. Yep. soldiers all. They carry themselves with more poise than Martyrus guards. They comprised the most elite unit of the military until Luis's secession. Now they are his private guard. I don't see Luis. Those brothers, all that songstress. But this many people here means the runners got to be all but empty. Shh. They're here. Glad you made it. Could stand to loosen up a little, though. What's got you lost so wound up? Well, you have to admit, the assembled company is more than a little intimidating. <laughs> You'll get used to that. You'll have to if you want to survive. Hey, pups. Oh. Where's that Ishkia man? The lanky old chap with the glasses. He's keeping watch over our gauntlet runner. What? Don't feel safe leaving your gauntlet runner empty. As you like, I suppose. I don't see that songstress, Juna. Is she not coming? Ah, she's under the weather. Poor girl went and lost her voice. Not many others could refuse an invitation from Lord Luis and live to tell it. You're looking forward to having another chat with her, eh? What a shame. Tell got a bit troopy about missing her, too. God's sake, Baz Belltop! There he is! I'm glad you could make it. Thank you for inviting us. Please, enjoy yourselves. As new comrades in arms, I... Now, while the drinks in their cups have yet to reach their heads, let's get the formality of introductions out of the way. Friends, today we welcome a most emboldening addition to our ranks. Doubtless you've heard of the young candidate who brought great shame to Sanctifex Forden. Before you stands the young man himself. Indeed, I was much surprised to learn he brought that Sanctuous forward with the intent of winning my regard. Commendably bold. Now, let us greet our new allies with warmth and pride. Count Luis will be king. Oh, these young firebrands. Count Luis will be the king our land deserves. The rest of the night is yours to drink in. Enjoy the party. Go. We'll take care of the rest. Hey, new boy. Slow down. Wouldn't be wise to snub a ranking officer now, would it? Well, look who it is. The only blowhard who showed up to the competition with a head smaller than his own. You little red-eyed! You want to say that again? All right. All right. Look! Ah!
Yes. as long as we can. Might I have a moment, please? Stroll, if I recall. I've heard you're a titled noble. Yet you stand behind a commoner candidate. I stand with a candidate who's proven he has power and potential. Besides, I'm a noble in lineage alone. My house no longer stands. Where are you from? Have you heard of a village called Harlia? Certainly. It was the first village to be destroyed by the human menace. Only because help never came. They requested reinforcements, but the army wouldn't spare a single soldier. Are the rumors true that that was by your decision? That is true. But why? To save this country. Stroll! The Fool King and the fossils of the Sanctus Church refused to face the threat looming over this country. An adequately dramatic demonstration was required. They say you could see Halia burning as far as the palace battlements. Confronted with that balefire, those old men could no longer deny the human threat. Your balefire cost hundreds of innocent lives. Do I offend you? Are you repulsed? Surely it helps you realize that you can protect nothing without power. The natural blessings you enjoyed are not infinite. Few have the luxury of living with no need to struggle and harm just to survive. But our nation would have you believe such hardship is born of moral weakness. So the punished are punished further. They die in silence like livestock. Their reality deny. It defies reason. All people deserve the chance to fight for their lives with their lives. Some will fall, some will triumph, and therein is true equality forged, however cruel. <sighs> I am not one to stand idly by as history is ruled. All their sacrifices and yours shall not be in vain. A valuable conversation. I do hope you enjoy the party. Oh. Humblest apologies. He's a young heart and hasn't yet learned to temper his words. Oh, no worries. Truth told, I'd take him over the sycophants. But Brad's nowhere to be seen. Where'd he slip off to? He couldn't have. Let's go have a look around, Hector.
from earlier was freaking out about some effect from a magla crystal. Maybe this is it. Check 
this out. Why would Luis? It's a forbidden text. So there shouldn't even be many copies left. That's impossible. Do you think Luis is actually reading this? If so, it doesn't seem like he's really getting its message. Wait, in there! There's a hidden box! Yes, magic formulas! But which one has the prince's curse? Oh, forget it! We'll just take the whole box! What are you doing here? I'm... looking for something. Not even bothering to hide it. Hmm? Hey, didn't you just come out of the storage room? What were you doing in there? You were that fairy from before. Luis gave me permission to come and go as I please in his private quarters. Hey, didn't I hear you had a sore throat or something? They said you lost your voice, but you sound fine to me. Uh-huh. I get it now. You snuck in this room last time too, didn't you? Wow, you're a real repeat offender. <sighs> I'm really losing my touch. So, oh, remember how I said I'd keep my eyes on you? Well, I have to say, I like what I see. Hey, get away from him! I don't suppose we could keep my little investigation secret. I'll keep quiet about you too, now that we're accomplices. I don't plan on ratting you out. <laughs> I do love a smart man. So, your little cohort cases the place first, leaving you to slink in once you've got the brief. Pretty sharp. Hey, I'm not just a little cohort. I have a proper name, and it's Gallica. Gallica? Your name is Gallica? Wait, does this mean... So you're here for... Someone's coming! Well, well. The occupant's absent, but the door's locked. I see why the guards are in a panic. There's no use hiding. This is quite a turn-up, isn't it? The runt I might have figured for a rat, but even my lord's favorite little songbird? What a scandal! And when he hears it from me, maybe I'll finally get some recognition around here. Everything's falling apart! What do we do? I think he's gone. If he'd stayed, he could have trapped us here. Thank goodness he's as stupid as he looks. I'll take care of this. Just listen close and act fast. The box you found contains the formula to the curse. I knew it. We both know what you're here for, right? Take what's inside and leave. Who... Who are you? What are you? Let's survive now. Talk later, shall we? She told us to run, but we can't just leave her. I... I say we go after her. Your attention, everyone. Assembled comrades. Let us speak of the old vulture's last grasp at power. The tournament for the throne. It hardly bears saying that the competition is a farce. It is a transparent conceit of the Sanctus Church orchestrated to win Ford in the throne. For all who bristle at their hubris, and indeed for the sake of the public, this hollow pageantry must be put to rights once and for all. And it shall be done 
by my hand. I hereby announce my formal entry into the competition. But, but my lord, Forden would surely never allow you to enter the race midstream. Why would I care for his permission? The late king's decree was that the crown would go to whoever had won the people's trust, not whoever indulged the church's sideshow. I will enter at my leisure. Should he deny me, Forden will be rightly denounced as the coward he is and lose the nation's faith. Then all will know he was never the one in control. For all that we believe and all that we have proven, we shall bring their own dogma down on their heads. Hey! Oh, hail Lord Louis! We got one sanctuary strung up. Now let's send Forden to the gallows. He's entering the competition? Even knowing it was rigged, there's still a lot he could get out of it. He's just been biding his time all along. Louis. Unfortunately, I am told we have a rat in our midst sniffing for morsels at our esteemed colleague's heels. <laughs> Wretched rat, if you stand among us tonight, you may tell your master this. I will neither run nor hide. If you think you can stop the rule of power, then come and try. Luis will be king! Hail King Luis! Go and see who is absent from the soiree. Honest. They're going outside. Not good. They're bound to check the gauntlet runner. We've got no choice but to chase and stop them. Oi, new bloke. Didn't hear you shout in Count Luis's name loud enough. Come now, let's hear you cheer with your gut, eh? Ugh, out of the way. I'm busy. At this rate... Tell! Look! The Caradrius is airborne! What? Why? You hear anything about a takeoff today? With its own around? Impossible! The rat's behind this. Do you know what's been on my mind? I want to know who took out Zorba. Wouldn't catch me dead sharing drinks with him, but he weren't some halfwit. If it was the Cathedral Guards, they had help. Think the rat nipped him too? Lord Luis has plenty of new friends hanging about. I wouldn't be surprised if some think they're clever. And me, I'd start with those stooges who cast all their magic without igniters. Whoa, Tell, eyes up, it's coming down. Secure the perimeter. Anyone so much as blinks the orders to kill on sight. Whoa, Tell. This is no good. didn't expect you to actually bother to come. The songbird baited the trap nicely after all. I suppose that settles it. The rats were working together. Must be quite a story behind this. But more importantly, time and time again, you dragged my name through the mud. And now look who's the traitor. Oh, I'm going to make this hurt. Hector, come.
Hector? Wait, that's your dog? You mean he transformed at your command? That animal's been corrupted by melancholia, and still you tamed it. Gladell, why did you hide such an amazing talent? Isn't taking hostages a bit beneath you? What? Don't you dare patronize me! You think I don't realize it? I'm not strong, I'm no towering assault war hero. All I've got is my wits, damn you! How could I win a rigged game but through foul play? Foul play? And now, I'll wipe those arrogant smiles off their faces. I should be the man being served and worshipped. Me, no one else. And yet every time, I watch them surpass me in everything I did. That bastard Luis included. They've been thorn after bloody thorn in my side, but that all ends today. I'll offer you up on a silver platter, and one day, the world will know me as its rightful ruler! Oh my, you're pathetic. I told you to shut your damned mouth! Go, Hector! Don't move. That goes for you too, fairy. Unless you'd rather see her pretty little neck bleed. What do we do? <sighs> right now, all we can do is make it through this. If we're not careful about this, Juna might... <laughs> Spectacular! A fitting end for a pack of rats. Get them, Hector! <sighs> no! Isn't there anything we can do? <laughs> you like that? Who's your king now? I am! You let your dog do your fighting. You're such a disgrace. He has no pets here. So what's the matter? Are you too scared to fight him alone? A duel? <laughs> Have it your way. Come then, we'll do this right. <laughs> <laughs> I am Gladell, and you will kneel before me as your king! So, who are you to me? I am the one who would save this country! Well, that worked better than I expected. This is bad. That guy is near the top of the candidate rankings. That means the royal magic will make him invincible to us. <laughs> <laughs> you have the right of it. You fell for it. She brought you straight to me. Now I have you, and I'll ensure your suffering is long and painful. But see reason. Juna, if you take my son, I might be persuaded to spare you. Am I not worthy of your affection? I'm more of a man than that bastard Luis could ever be! Over my dead body! I am Juani Cygnus. I am no one's trinket. My life is my own to protect, and I will accept nothing less! What? It worked? Well, you're not invincible! Damn you! What's going on here? Let me help. Your powers have intrigued me from the start. You and your friends. You call it... an archetype, right? What? I thought as much. Surprising, though. I'd written them off as a myth. Not even my sister got close. Still, now that I've seen their power a few times, maybe... I can do it myself. Very well. O oh, Loath Star, who wanders in sorrow. O oh, thou anguished traveler who hath borne the weight of parting from the start. Henceforth, thy fears and insecurities become thy light. Thou art the brilliant star that shall illuminate the king's road. Now, awaken. Look. Look at me. What you see now is my commitment to my song.
Behold, my voice rises from the depths of my heart! a lackey! My music is lost on you. Listen and learn! <sighs> Do it! Chew them up! Tear them limb from bloody limb! I see. So this is the power of an archetype. All it takes is a change of mask, and I can be whatever I want. Poetic, really? Especially for me. That's just as well. You can lend me your strength, too. This isn't the kind of thing you can just imitate. Do you know about this power? Not much. It's been a while. Now, I hope you've had your fun, because you're about to pay for it in full. Shut up! Just shut up! I'll crush you with my own hands! A duel, then. You can die together. I'm all prepared. Nothing. No, this won't work. By this power. Nice. With me now, Hector. I'll show you. Howling wind. You hit their weakness. Don't it's let okay. them down. I've got just the no one happen. here fights alone. Let my power support you. Going for the weak spot. Great job, Juna. Now they're weak to something new. Take this. Let's go! Lightning! 
This'll be over soon enough. I call upon a royal soul! Raging fire! Make sure don't give up easy! Die! Come on! What? Nice one, Captain! By this power! I am Watch me. your rightful king! Uh, help! Help me! I... I give! Please, I'll not say a word about you sneaking in. Just spare my life, I beg you. What do we do? If we let him run off, he's obviously going to rat us out. But killing him would give us a lot to explain. Maybe we should work out some kind of deal. Idiots! It's the oldest trick in the book! What's happening? No. I'm the future king. I can't. I can't breathe. Why? Is he dead? So the magic protected us. But why now? What the hell? Dead? You lot kill him. N no! He's the one who attacked us! And then the king's magic did all that to him! That the truth of it? Oh, he snuck into Count Luis's private quarters. Must have gotten in with all the confusion of takeoff, I suppose. Right? And why did the bloody thing take off like that? We could hardly believe our eyes. Oh, well. You know me and my indulgences, boys. Perhaps I got a bit carried away, but we're in Brylehaven. I simply had to see the night view over the city. You have an laugh. Anyway, then Gladell went from crass to violent. That's when he stepped in to help. Right? Yes. That was a close one. Totally. Close call. Crikey, Lady Juna, I'm sorry. Sounds like you've had a right awful evening. Hold on. You were supposed to be at the soiree, weren't you? That's a lot of ground to cover, isn't it? Why? One would think you don't believe us, Fidelio. I'm wounded. You truly doubt me. Well, no, just... I suppose that means the rat was Glodel. Lord Louis said we got a traitor in our midst, is all. We came by thinking to catch him. Is... is that so? Well, hadn't you better report back? Shall we make what we can of this party together? Your throat all better then, Lady Juna. My... Ah, oh, yes, much better. He gave me such a thorough examination, after all. He took good care of my throat. My tongue. My lips. He, um... You. If you'd come a bit earlier, I might have asked you to do it. Really? Hardly matters to me. Anyway, I'd say this bears reporting. Let's leave the guards to their cleanup and get out of here. Yeesh, Lux could kill. Scary. So Gladell was our rat, was he? And he's already been executed? Afraid so. The two of them were the only ones who left the soiree early. 
sounds like Gladell overstepped and Lady Juna and the new lad had to fight him down. Or it could have been the other way around. Too right. Dead can't speak, after all, and we've no other witnesses to the scene. Now hold on. Gladell was a right prolific candidate. We know the King's magic protected him. Their story goes that he attacked them and got petrified to death for it. If that's true, the boy would have to have the stand-in for it. That fact is no longer in question. I received a report a short while ago. They say your face has emerged on the King's Rock. It appears your stunt with the Sancturess earned you some renown. Hey, good for you, Pop. And that's how the magic got to Gladell. One wonders what you stopped Gladell from doing. What was he after there? Ah, who knows? We were hardly in a position to ask. Wonder if he was on old Forden's payroll. Nah. He'd been at that monk Godot's neck since the race had barely started. Tried to snuff him out in the wilds, too. Not anywhere he'd have had an audience. No matter. Forden has been kind enough to whip the people into a frenzy over this race. I'll step in and reap what he so graciously sowed. From here on, you will serve as my eyes and ears. Understood. Let us see what scheme Forden devises for the next task. Until then, you may take your ease in the city. Oh, and with Gladell out with the rubbish, might I promote him to the role of my chauffeur? Are you serious? Is it so strange? He does have his own gauntlet runner. In fact, I'd better go make sure it's up to my standards. Let her do as she pleases. <laughs> What's wrong, Del? Looking a bit green around the gills. Gladell was an ambitious man, yeah, but is that enough to justify him looting Count Luis's personal quarters? What was in it for him? All right. Sorry for barging in. A bit late for introductions, I expect. What? You haven't told them about me yet. I can't tell them what you haven't told me. So, can I assume that you are one of us? That is, we too stand alongside Count Luis, but how to say it? I think you and I were after the same thing in old Luis's room. You really weren't told. Don't tell me you're the other agent Grius mentioned. Grius? Is he the one who died at the Grand Cathedral? I'm sorry. They kept the finer details confidential, so I never really knew who the other agent was. But I understand the objective well enough. The curse on His Highness the Prince can't be lifted by conventional methods, so we either kill the caster or get the formula. I see. So you and Grius were the two prongs of the operation. You get the formula, he hunts the caster. Ever since the King's magic made it impossible to kill Luis, I've been ready to meet up with a new contact. I just wasn't expecting one so young. If I hadn't learnt the fairy messenger's name was Gallica, I'd never have realized it was you. I'm pretty shocked myself. I never figured the big famous songstress would be on our side. And I thought you and Luis were... Uh... You were his... His lady love. <laughs> God, no. I wouldn't be caught dead in that madman's quarters unless it was to rob him blind. No. Luis keeps me close because he likes my voice. That's all. He made the lines of that relationship quite clear, with no room for messier entanglements. I think that clears up your place here. But I have to say, you're risking a lot for a side job. Why go to these lengths when you've so much to lose? At first, it was just coincidence. I tend to find myself in honored company, and I happened to be around where a resistance operative was doing a spot of recon. So, in sooth, you were strong-armed into this? What? No, no, quite the other. I requested to join, 
When fate beckons, one can't just turn her away. A singer's whole self is built off all she experiences. This seemed like a chance for a once-in-a-lifetime inspiration for my art, and nobody else had a plausible way or reason to get close to Louise. So, you could say our interests aligned. All that just so you could grow as a singer? You really are devoted, and fearless to boot. I know what I put my life on the line for, that's all. You all have something like that, don't you? A devotion that anyone else might see as foolish. Ha! <laughs> the girl's bold as brass! No wonder she's got all the crown subjects by the heartstrings, eh? Well, half of it might be because of my birth. A Nydia girl's got to be bold to step out into this world at all. Though it's hard for most people to understand why. Singing is everything to me. To truly stir even a single soul. I'd take that over a thousand of the church's accolades. Well, anyhow, that's what's going on with me. I'll stick close to Luis for now so he doesn't start suspecting anything. Any objections? Captain? Sure, fine by me. I knew you were the sort of man who knows what to say. Glad to meet you as a proper comrade. Gets your heart going, doesn't it? Well, didn't see that coming. But I guess we've got another ally now. Our journey looked pretty precarious at first, but it's gone surprisingly smoothly. I'll do my best to help too. Let's see this through. Gotta get back on track. Anyway, welcome aboard, Juna. Oh, right! Let's decipher the formula we found. Hopefully we can finally break the curse. Do we even know anyone who can read the blasted thing? Oh, I love a good blueprint, but this formula leaves me a tad glazed, what? Actually, Grace's notebook mentioned a Rella in the margins. Seems like he had it in mind to bring it to her. Rella? The girl they call the Saint? Saint Rella. Indeed. She would be the most qualified. After the attack on His Highness, we sent for the kingdom's best healer. It was she who answered our summons, and she who saved His Highness from certain death. Hold on, the best healer in the kingdom? That attack was over ten years ago. That so-called saint looked about my age. Rella was a prodigal talent, one of the most gifted at the Mage Academy. Even as a child, she outclassed her teachers with an igniter. Wait, you know her? I'm afraid she's a bit out of our reach now, though. She left a while ago to return to her work at the royal capital. We couldn't manage such a trip under Luisa's gaze. Well, a trip to the royal capital would hardly put us out. We'll just pip over with a bit of magic. No, really, it's dash it convenient. There are some conditions, but we could travel instantly to a few specific places. Well, no sense waiting. Let's be off. Right! All yours! You... you actually did it! We're at the Royal Capital! Wait, 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 how did you do that? Don't shout in the streets, would you? How can I not? Do you know how incredible this is? What are you people? Hey, look! Isn't that the songstress? It is! It's the Lady Juna! Oh, I've always wanted to shake her hand! Oh, hell. The price of fame. If word gets out that you were seen here, it'll be hard to explain yourself later on. Rella works at the church on Main Street. I'll lead the way. You know your way around, eh? Wait, this Rella's a world-class healer, and she's working as a local doctor. Is that uncommon? Igniters are not known for their use in healing. Indeed, tis a virtually impossible feat, often reserved for the nobility. I'd have expected Saint Rella to serve the court only. If she turned down that prestige in the name of helping the common folk, 
And I suppose she really has earned her saintly titles. Come on, let's hurry on. What do you make of all this, Captain? If we ask her to decipher the curse, we risk exposing our identities and our aims. Do you trust her? Let's meet her first. A fair thought. We need not be so reluctant. If you say so, then let's get on. All right, then. Is away. Be with you in a moment. Hello. How can I help you? <sighs> Juna. Long time no see. Sorry for all of us storming the place. And you. You're the one who was at the exhibition. Right. Now that you all know each other's names. Rella is my older sister. Adopted sister, that is. Her family took me in. Though don't spread it around. The public doesn't know, and we don't know who tried to exploit it. It's been forever, Juna. I'm so sorry. I really was planning to meet you after the opening ceremony. I understand. You were attending to Sanctifex Forden until Brylehaven. But that's wonderful. Such deft social climbing even puts father's efforts to shame, eh? Ugh, social climbing. Glad to make your acquaintance. I am Rella Cygnus. I'm a healer, but somehow I doubt that's why you're here. Actually, there's something we'd like you to look at. Where... Where did you get this? I know it's asking a lot, but could you share anything you know? Without asking too many questions? I've seen something like this before. I'd never forget. Objectively speaking, the magic involved is a direct inversion of a healing spell. Popularly known as a curse. Hmm. I suppose that stands to reason. Pardon the late introduction. I am Hulkenberg, a Knight of the Crown. As you may have guessed, that is the formula to the curse that slew His Royal Highness, the Prince. Hold on! The death of His Highness was a tragedy when I would see repaid in full. As his royal guard, tis my duty to punish the treasonous snake responsible. Then surely the man who penned this was Luis. Look, what happened at the exhibition? We were trying to get closer to Luis. You're a holy woman, so I couldn't ask your forgiveness. But if you could at least understand. The Lady Joanna's penitence was sincere. To hear her, I thought it must be so. It was Forden who chose such a terrible punishment. That was what scared me. Oh, Rella. Ah, oh, but I'm a bit relieved. I heard rumors Luis had swept you off your feet and you'd been hanging on his arm since. Oh, I worried for you so, Juna. I see now I needn't have given it a second thought. Of course. I am Juani Cygnus, and my life is... Yes, yes, your life is your own, I know. Just make sure you're not causing trouble for everyone else. I suppose this is another dramatic and risky gesture? Like when you ran away from home in a frenzy of passion, declaring you'd take the stage or die trying. No! Well, sort of. Maybe, yes, but... Oh! You didn't have to put it like that. I've looked over the formula. From what I can tell, this spell's effects are... enduring. As long as the magic source continues to exist, the effect shall never fade. The trouble is, while most curses simply consume the magic released in the moment's casting, this one is designed to perpetually draw on the magic of the caster. 
So as long as Luis lives, it doesn't matter where his victims run and hide. Sounds just like him. But I'm afraid even if his highness still lived, I don't think anyone could have broken the curse using this. This formula isn't complete. It's a mere outline clearly jotted from memory. I couldn't tell you how to lift the curse from this alone. What? Then... I'm sorry I couldn't be of any help. No, you, you've done plenty. Especially since we're the ones who sprang this on you. Pardon me, young man. May I say one last thing? You're a friend of hers, aren't you? Please, keep Juna safe. Of course. I'll do- Thank you. She can be reckless sometimes. I'll be here for the foreseeable future. Any friend of Juna is welcome here, so stop by any time you like. The curse is impossible to break? Did I miss a funeral? I've never seen you lot so gloomy. <sighs> what do we do now? The only way left is to take down Luis himself. The impossibility of that is precisely what led us here, Stroll. And now, we are no further than when we started. Plenty of assassins have come for Luis, but the King's magic works every time. They all died frozen in agony. Even if we could fight him properly, do we stand a chance? The man's an unparalleled master of both martial and magic arts. This might be the end. Still, we have to stop Luis, no matter what. The royal magic's not an absolute shield. It cost Gladell his life. We've just got to maintain the trust we've earned from Luis, and eventually we'll get our chance. For now, he told us to wait until the race's next task is announced. Then we'll have to do just that. <sighs> I'm pooped from all this brainstorming. I could use a break in the gauntlet, Runner. Mm. Well... I must say I'm impressed. You have enough beds to accommodate this many people. Yes, as much as they grumble about cramped quarters. Apologies. Tis hardly accommodation worthy of a diva. And I confess the ride itself is often jarring. At the very least, I'll be happy with a bath. You have a room for that, I trust? Right this way, my lady. Well, no point getting reckless now. Let's think about this some more tomorrow. By the way, what have you been doing all this time, Nurus? Thinking, mostly. Been having a good old ponder ever since I saw Luis's Skyrunner in the air. Always been my dream to fly on wings, you see. Not with any of this magic levitatory. And then in you come with this teleportation. Made me start wondering if there was any valid point at all to my flight theory, what? A long while back, I did a flight experiment to prove my theory was sound. Failed spectacularly, though. And got myself all crunched up in the process. I was still in bed, midway through my convalescence when they... when they told me I was to be demoted. I didn't know. Between us, old boy, my flight theory is complete. Principles are sound and tested. All that's left are the practical, eh? Incorporating it into the Gauntlet Runner. But ever since that accident, I, I suppose I've, I've been afraid to move forward with it. Afraid of failure. You and the rest of our merry band are risking your very lives for the prince. And here I sit moping, eh? The way I see it, your teleportation can only take us places we've been. If we want to see new horizons, we'll need to take to the skies. It'll take time, no doubt, but I'll put my very soul into it. No shortcuts, and when I fly, I'll do it my way.
this is... All right. Right. What now? All right, then. Still awake. What's the matter? Can't sleep? <laughs> well, that is rather the problem. I'm wide awake. Once we're back tomorrow, I'll sneak the formula back into Luis's room. Even if he suspected us, he'd never work out that we got to the capital and showed it to Rella in a single night. He won't find out about our mission. You know, I'm a bit surprised. I thought I was fine doing all that infiltration at Luis's place. Turns out I wasn't. Finally having others who know the truth, and having gotten to see my sister. I didn't realize how exhausted I am, and you personally saved me from danger back there. I'm terribly grateful to you. You're lucky, really. Well, have you know I'm rarely this candid. That's the forbidden text you mentioned in Luis's room, is it? I've seen him reading it from time to time. What's it like? Can I read a bit of it? The prevailing culture of the world is one of freedom in all things. No faith, fealty, or philosophy enforces ideology. All are free to create, and all are free to embrace those creations. This culture's influence spreads throughout the world. It is even said that a song of peace was powerful enough to bring an end to war. Oh, how inspiring. It's hard to imagine that a single song could be so influential. I wonder what the world would be like if a song really could reach all people's hearts. No matter their status or tribe. We Nydia, we are all liars, you know. Everyone told us we were inherently worthless. Just a fact of our birth. So I learned some glamours to make myself at least look valuable. This form. It's all just a fancy disguise, really. A gilded mask for the world to admire. Or not. No, do forgive me. That was all lies, lies, lies. I don't think it's necessarily a good idea to reveal yourself entirely, but you should always have the freedom to. If these new powers are to give form to my ideals, I want to create a world where we can appreciate each other's freedom. I'll make sure everyone hears that in my songs, no matter what happens. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. Now, prepare to hear the race's next challenge. Let's find out where our fierce competitors are bound. To recap, the 20 candidates with the current highest approval on the King's Rock will be the only ones to proceed. All others will be disqualified. I'd say the results of the exhibition are sure to have spread by now. Let's have a look at the standings, shall we? 
In first place, the undisputed winner, Bane of Sea Monsters and Saviour of the People, our very own Sanctifex Fordan! And the traitor Luis in second, despite not actually being in the race. But in third, we have the warrior monk captain, Master Kido! Furthermore... In the end, everyone but Luis is just representing the Sanctus Church. What's your point? I dare say that's a relief. We'll finally be done with all this chaos. A return to normalcy. Ha! Normalcy. Funny how it's only the rich who miss how things used to be. But now Count Luis has the people behind him. He'll save the common man. Yes, we're all keeping our ears out for a response from Luis's faction. But we do have one standout who's seen a stunning jump in popularity since the exhibition. The lad responsible for exposing the sins of the Sanctress, Joanna. Valiant human slayer. Yes, it's the young Elder. <laughs> Why? Wasn't expecting that one. Nameless to famous in a single night. Just like that, he's in the top 20. Oi, crier man, where's the windbag? The one what acted all high and mighty over a tiny human head. Who? Oh, right, that Gladell or something. No sign of him, probably saw the writing on the wall and dropped down. So it really was all talk then? The disgrace to the Rusan, hiding his inadequacy behind Luis's authority. But the boy candidate isn't the only one in the spotlight. We've a rising star by the name of Katharina. Some big ideas, that girl. I hear she plans to put a price on every wealthy head if she takes the throne. And what's wrong with that? If they're sitting on most of the kingdom's money, they can afford to hire a little extra security every day. Let them sweat it out. Now, here's a surprise. We've got a Mastari candidate still in the running. And my sources say they hail from, well, well, Virga Island. A pagan islander, but they're filthy barbarians. Besides, nobody could compare to Lord Nilo. The final roundup's actually looking pretty diverse. We're just about ready to announce the next leg of the race. Thank you for waiting, ladies and gents. It's time to begin the second round of the Tournament for the Throne! First of all, congratulations to the 20 who have won their places on the King's Rock. You are now officially the winners of the first round. Let's give them a hand! No sign of Luis. Even if he does plan to take over, suppose he's still not eager to play by their rules. I haven't seen Juna this morning either. I heard some nobles say she had a job suddenly come up. Better that the audience doesn't see her with us, anyway. Now, at long last, we are ready to announce their next challenge. This time, the task for the candidates is... Recovering and offering a divine relic! What? A relic? Don't worry, we're happy to explain everything. You'll not want to forget this, so we've arranged for you to hear it from an unforgettable voice! To tell us more, please welcome to the stage our guy, our songstress, the lovely Lady Juna! Her sudden obligation revealed, I suppose. Chosen heroes! Your next destination is Altaberry Heights, the capital of the Principality of Montario. You are to gather there by the deadline, with a divine relic in hand to offer the Sanctus Church. Tragically, there are still heathens in this land who choose to reject Sanctism. They care nothing for salvation. 
They cling to strange idols, calling them divine relics, believing them gifts from their eldritch gods. But their rituals are unstable, and their relics just primitive magic tools. It is time we put an end to this misguided witchery. Take these relics from the pagan's grasp and bring them to the birthplace of Sanctism, Alterbury Heights, in Montario. Please deliver them to their rightful place in God's hands. May all our aspiring heroes be blessed with good fortune and the favor of God. I pray for your success. What a real presence before a crowd, doesn't she? Positively plucks at your heart. Oh. Focus, Iceland, focus. By the deadline of the second round, Alterbury will begin the festivities for the autumnal Ontario Saints Day. This two-day event kicks off on Saints Day Eve, with the main celebrations on the day proper. And this year's event will be historic. His Eminence, Sanctifex Forden, will be personally sealing the collection of the Pagan Relics. To celebrate, the songstress Tuna will be dedicating a ceremonial song. You won't want to miss this, folks. Now, ladies and gentlemen, on my mark, let the second round of the Tournament for the Throne begin! <laughs> They're unabashedly ordering them to steal relics from pagan land now. That's plunder! They would steal our very culture! That candidate's a Mustari. Small wonder he's so aghast. Forden's stooping to a new low. What new low? By and large, the Mustari are a pagan people. Their relics are cultural touchstones, vital to their hearts and faiths. And Forden's just ordered us to loot them as we please. But in our case, we won't even know what we're doing until Luis gives the order. Either way, we're bound for Alterbury. It's further east. We've a long trip ahead of us. Oh, my shoulder hurts. I don't care if it's the Crown Theocracy. You'd think they'd ask me a little sooner than the morning of. Still managed to put on a hell of a show for him. Lady Juna. Count Luis has sent for you. And you lot too, I suppose. Looks like our first job's come in. These men have me running all over. We're back, Lord Luis. Funny, isn't it? Since the Gladell incident, you've been inseparable from this gang. Well, one has to keep one chauffeur in line, don't you think? Hey, heard you got a gig at the Sanctus Festival. Good on you! Thanks! Though I don't know if it's worth celebrating. Seems to me it's to keep Lord Luis in check. Putting me on stage the whole time might keep you from crashing their Saints Day party. And if we try anything, they'll use it as an excuse to blacklist you. Just the kind of shite you'd expect from those Sanctist stooges. You need fear nothing. It is Forden who now stews in his dread. That he seeks the divine relics is common knowledge. But who would simply give up an idol on par with a god's reverence? He has all but commanded that we take it by force. The king's magic ruined his schemes. You humiliated him in the public eye. And in one desperate final grasp for authority, the fool has placed his fate in my hands. Forden's game will soon end. Let us at least give him the finale he deserves. What are you planning to do? What? Do you need to hear it repeated? I will give Forden his death. And what of the king's magic? <laughs> You'll see soon enough. For now, you need only follow my orders. Your task is to obtain a certain divine relic on my behalf. The artifact in question is a lance known as Dracodius. Dracodius. 
The Draco implies something to do with dragons, I presume? Suffice to say, the law behind this particular relic intrigues me. You will acquire it in time for Saint's Day, and bring it to me. Pretty high stakes, my lord. You sure you want this crop of novices on the job? Rest assured, my other agents have their own relics I've assigned them to pursue. I've no urgent need for this lance, nor for them, should they fail. I'll go along and keep an eye on them, shall I? You can bet that if they try and run off with the relic, I'll put a stop to it. You certainly are attached to them, aren't you? Well, it's their first formal assignment in your service, after all. I can be your eyes and ears. So be it then. You may act accordingly. <laughs> so, my lord, where can we find this fancy lance? Find your clues elsewhere. You have nothing further from me. Prove you think as well as you fight. May we both find success in the pursuit of our shared vision. Believe this. He would have them all take what they please. This same atrocity all over again. 
damn him. And damn his crown theocracy. He's in quite a state. Though I can hardly blame him, with everyone ordered to ransack his homeland. For now, how to approach him? They've really crossed the line. Hmm? Wait. You're not with the Sanctus Church. One of the few who aren't, it seems. I don't know much about divine relics, but I know all too well what it's like to see your homeland threatened. The divine relics are symbols of our faith. More than that, they are the soul of our culture, our history. Followers of the old native beliefs worship idols that are known to conduct magic, which they call divine relics. But unlike the igniters of modern times, they are primitive in make and function, and often dangerous. So said my studies, at least. Oh, far from it. Divine relics aren't primitive in the least. That's just Sanctus propaganda. Really, it's the opposite. Most of these relics are powerful beyond belief, and igniters are just our crude imitations of them. If you'd ever seen one yourself, you'd know the difference. They don't call them divine for nothing. With powers like that, they might as well have come from the gods. You're that songstress. Didn't expect to hear all this from you, after what you said for the crowd. Well, a job's a job. But as I'm sure you're aware, pagans aren't the only ones oppressed by the church. You really are well informed. And it sounds like you know something of oppression. Did you perhaps come from the Mage Academy? Details, darling. I've seen abuse of powers before. And I'd rather not see it again. The other candidates seem bent on taking relics by any means necessary. But you... You all seem different. To be fair, we are looking for one. The only relic we know by name right now is Dracodios. The Lance of the Dragon God? So that's why you came up to me. I suppose anyone would want our homeland's greatest treasure. The Lance is no secret we're trying to hide. Truly, I hope mainlanders come by the scores to see it. Our village is on an island in the World Tree's embrace, where the Dragon God sleeps. On a clear day, you can see it from this land. An island across the ocean. You mean Virga Island, then? It is a large island in the Inland Sea. Most of its inhabitants are Mustari, and it remains the only place in the land where Sanctism has not taken root. I'm not out to abolish Sanctism myself. I just don't want everything we believe in to be destroyed. So that's why you're in this race. I thought I could change the world. And then I saw the truth. What a fool I was. I've not introduced myself yet, have I? My name is Edeni. Take my advice. Forget about Dracodios. We can't hand it over, and you'll never reach it anyway. We don't intend to take it by force. Even if you did, you'll not find any ships that sail there. And that's only the first obstacle in your way. Take my word. It's no place for an outsider. <sighs> it's time I stopped chasing a fool's dream. I need to face reality. And if you're smart, you'll do the same. Well, sounds like Draco Dios is on Virga Island somewhere. Is there really no ship passage there? This is the biggest port in the kingdom. Tis true. His words reminded me. Thanks to both sea currents and cultural tensions, the only merchant ships passing Virga Island embark from Montaria. But Montaria is on the other side of the bloody sea! You can't seriously be suggesting we go there first and then loop back to Virga. We'd never make the deadline. Then let's bally well conquer this inland sea ourselves! <laughs> Don't worry, chums! I'm on the job! You worried about Lady Juna? Actually asking this time, not just prodding. Shut up. Tell. You still don't trust them, do you? How can I? We've only known them for a matter of days. Look, the whole Gladell mess, you really think they're innocent? Hmm. Then let's go with them, yeah? Me and you? You do whatever makes sense to you, Del. You know I'll follow wherever you go. Hmm. <laughs> you never could keep your mouth shut, eh?
What the? Wait a second. You're not saying this thing can sail now. Quite right. While you lot were hobnobbing at old Luis's soiree, I had his run all to myself. And believe you me, I got quite an eyeful. Came away full of ideas. After all, this old girl wasn't designed as a land runner alone. All about modular design, don't you know? Flexible jointage. So I did a bit of tinkering. But why? We'd not even spoken of the island until moments ago. Island Schmiland, milady. Look at the map. What's our shortest route to Ontario, eh? A straight shot through the inland sea. Huh. A man has a point. That never dawned on me. Besides, I've kept my ears open. What? Here there be monsters and all that rot? You'll need more than a ship for these waters. You'll need a proper sea runner. Oh, right. Nearest, you weren't at the exhibition, so you wouldn't know. Forden already killed the big sea monster out there. It had a huge head. Really? Don't tell me you're making the trip in that. Why are you two here? Bodyguard duty, Lady Juna. We're along for the ride, especially since you're bound for some remote wild island. These poor newcomers are working so hard and you still can't trust them. Or is it me you don't trust? We're here on Master Luis's orders. I'm sure I don't have to outline the peck in order there. Or do you have a problem with us being around? Rather, we're running short on beds. Oh, don't worry. Del doesn't take up as much space as me. Oh, belt up. Besides, you really expect this rust bucket to survive a night at sea? If you don't like it, leave. Nobody's forcing you to come. <laughs> Looks like we're crewmates then. Not unlike a sea voyage for a bit of fun, yeah? This is a fine mess. Wasn't expecting them along. What do you think their angle is? They probably still suspect us. I agree. We definitely crossed a line with the whole Gladell incident. Suppose that's that, eh? I'll do a last check on her amphibials, make sure she's ship-shape. Uh, give me a shout when you're ready. to depart. <laughs> Virga Island is this spot right here. Wonder how many... This place. Oh. Actually moving. A fine effort. Was it ever in doubt? You're the master of the helm, my dear. Virga Island, eh? Hey? Well, I can say it's wholly foreign to me. Tis a land within an archipelago where many Mustari live. I've heard their faith involves a special maiden of some kind. How have they managed to avoid the church's influence? I doubt they've the manpower or arms to fend off the crown theocracy. There's something there that could overturn history, as the Sanctists tell it. Something so damning they couldn't even afford their soldiers seeing it. So the rumors say at least. Might just be a conspiracy theory. As for this Dragon God's Lance, we shall need to negotiate. If negotiations are even on the table, 
Oh, why all the fuss? Just kill them and take it. Nothing else works, yeah? Keep it simple. It's always kill, kill, kill with you two. Hey, Lord Luis's orders. Don't need to tell you, do I? Yet you'd impugn Count Luis's reputation with wanton massacre. Simple, was it? Ugh, give it a rest. Are we there yet? Hard to talk strategy with those two hanging around. Ladies and gentlemen, feast your ears on this! The Elder Boy candidate seems to have crossed the channel to the island! On a gauntlet runner too! Is he alright? They say the waters are clear of monsters now, but... If he made it, that means my husband can go out fishing again, doesn't it? <laughs> I have to say, I expected at least one daredevil to try plowing straight through the inner sea, but I never thought it'd be that boy. That's the same lad who exposed that lady from Martira, isn't it? He's not bad. But Virga Island's infamous people, treacherous. Even the Crown Theocracy struggled with them for years. So how will this shake out? <laughs> the festivities have just begun. The Gauntlet Runner takes to the water in its new form, setting out to the wide open sea. Their destination, Virga Island, an enigmatic foreign land that not even the long arm of sanctism can reach. Not all present now would count themselves as allies. Will this prove difficult, or something else entirely? Ah, Hera speaking!
the sun dips below the horizon and the stars begin to reflect off the water's surface, the gauntlet runner reaches the shore, lurking below the surface in the black and fathomless deep are the eager eyes of predatory hunters. But the party, safe inside their gauntlet runner, relaxes from the burdens of their voyage, gazing out over calm waters. Even so. Got it? Got it. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. Oh, goodness. Sure. Yes.
All right, then. Clear. All right. Gauntlet Runner halts at a sandy hollow that suddenly arises from the sea. The towering seawall. It is not an island or a reef, but a mass of sand expanding below sea level. There is no sign of a water flow. There are many places in Oceana where the laws of nature fail, but here it is especially evident. The surface drops as though it were gouged out. Still, Best not to be distracted by the spectacular. Monsters roam the deep, and tales of people being dragged below are not uncommon. Yeah. 
As the water sparkling in the setting sun begins to lose the light shimmer, the gauntlet runner reaches the calm surface of the reef. Yet the day draws to an end, and all are left to wonder how to spend the evening hours. What terrible rain! It will be a storm soon enough. Can this vessel withstand it? Let's do it better than me, at least. Suppose we do owe Forden, if only because he handled that sea monster. Closure, closure, etc. Did we hit a rock out there or something? Back in a mo, I'll go sneak a look outside. Those fool brothers are still abed, even in this tempest. Bloody Parapus. Almost makes one envy them. Right, I heard. You aren't too fond of the Parapus. They both had horrible upbringings, those two. But they really do have kind hearts behind the glares. They've risked their lives for mine countless times. <laughs> one time, I asked what I could do to repay them, and they came over all red-faced. We'd like to hear you sing, Lady Juna. Your voice is awful pretty, Lady Juna. Is this a joke to you? You think an outcast Ujeef is in no position to speak ill of the Paripus? What? No, I didn't mean... <sighs> Bloody hell, how does anyone sleep on this old bucket? You feel that shaking earlier? Huh? Could cut the air in here with a knife. What were you two on about? About how we'll get that lance. Oh, conspiring while we're asleep, eh? We don't have to keep dancing around it, do we, Del? Why can't we be straight with them? Just come out with it, yeah? Tell them you still ain't sure that stuff with Glodel was on the level. If even we're suspicious, there's no way Lord Luis hasn't worked it out already. Not that it matters to me, anyway. Still, I had to make sure see for myself whether Lady Juna is on our side or not. Come on, you two. Ah! Something's out there! Look outside! It's a monster! A great briny beast! Everyone to the deck, quick! What's happening? Our prep. This changes nothing. We're still... Is that a... human? Don't charge straight at it! <laughs> We've got the arms. We'll clear them out of the way. <laughs> got it. If we don't kill the thing, we're all sunk. Don't get used to it. Come on, over here! Now's our chance! 
We'll slice up some more of the bastard's legs, stick to the body, and take out what limbs you can. I don't know about you, but I'm not dying today. Let's get this over with. If this keeps up, the runner's wrecked. Can we get those giant legs off us? Oh, power of kings! I have my methods! By the power! Lightning! You hit their weakness! I shall fight him! No holding back! Captain. I call the light! Hit their weakness! Keep it up, Stroll! The Let justice prevail! You think yourself equal? Commander! How about this? I'm a wizard! Roar! Now, what's the plan? Are you prepared? I'll cut you down! The legs retracted! You see that? That should make things a little easier on us! Now well, that's finesse! Beautiful dog, Heisman! If we can take out some legs, we'll have a blade in half! Deal with, right? Not now. They're weak to electricity! Give them a jolt! Let justice prevail! Oh, bolts of lightning! Hulkenberg got them right Be in their neither weak spot! Tim ah! This should suffice. Helpful as ever. Let wizard! The lightning! You hit their weakness! In the name of Sword Master! Opening, Captain. Uh, this. I stand ready, O oh, power of heroes! It is mine now. Point like General's command may face me! Fortifying. Thanks. I owe you. Thank you. I will wizard! Roar! I shall fight as the noble I am. I call upon royal power within! The power of lightning! Keep it up, Troll! This should suffice. Helpful as ever. Let's go! The lightning! You hit their weakness! I can't afford- I shall vanquish evil! Captain. I can slash! A halfway decent result. Bad at all. I shall rise to the occasion. I shall strive to use this power wisely. Excellent! I've grown more powerful! We overcame it somehow. I can't believe this! There are still monsters out here! Borden lied! He, he lied to everybody! Either he lied, or he didn't know. 
Maybe the humans are spreading faster than anyone expected. Oh, first time we've seen you lot really cut loose. That sure was magic, even with no igniters. Guess that's the kind of power that kills humans. And you can do it too, Lady Juna. Well, I picked it up from him. You know I've a knack for improvising, love. But we'd never have gotten through this without you two helping us. Thank you. Eh. Uh, um, of course, my lady. You too, Fidelio. Don't mention it. Wouldn't have survived otherwise. Wait, something's amiss. I still hear water flowing, but... It's coming from inside the runner. Blast! We're dipping awfully low! Getting a bit soggy in here, chums! Hold on, we're sinking! You've got to be kidding! Bail the water! You two, help us! What? You can't just order us... Oh, this bloody rust bucket! Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer.
sorry. <laughs> you are curious. Take this. As the clear surface gives way to the glassy ink of darkness, the gauntlet runner reaches a remote island. The party gets a good night's rest, grateful for the still land that does not sway them at its winds. What to pick? <sighs> what now? Marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer.
Luis has sent an emissary to Virga Island. As reported by a crier, it's the elder boy who brought Joanna to the judging. Hmm. So he stands with Luis then. No doubt he seeks Dracodias. A gambit to steal the public's gaze, perhaps. Taking a prize from the only land beyond the church's reach. <laughs> Laughable. The reason we leave those barbarians alone is that we've nothing to gain from them. Mm. Your eminence? Mm, merely a passing thought. Let him chase the lance. It changes nothing. With the dawn of Saints' Day, your eminence's authority will be unshakable as the mountains. As long as we tell the public that these divine relics truly originated in Sanctism, yes, that should do. The candidates gathered at the Saints' Day Festival will be under the protection of the King's magic. Some of them may use that as a shield to sow violence and discord. I am aware, Your Eminence. Please, leave everything to your humble servant. Oh-ho! Narrowly escaping the threat of the sea monster, the party rides the currents of the inland sea to their destination, Virga Island. Virga is a word given to the island by the mainland, meaning uncivilized. But its inhabitants give this name no purchase. Put another way, we are trespassers from a country that has unilaterally regarded the islanders as heretics. To forget this is to invite pointless conflict. As though it knows it is unwelcome, the gauntlet runner glides silently onto the island's less populated rear shore. I can't take this heat. It's enough to cook a man alive. Ugh. All my air fur is stuck together. Do we really have to go this way? There was a beautiful beach just over there. Chin up now, my lady. Easy to get a good backstab when you're coming up behind them, see? There will be no stabbing, back or otherwise. Honestly. It's at least true that coming at them head on would only alarm them. First, we need to find out where this lance is. You can bet the runner won't be spotted here, eh? Got the wide ocean on all sides. The old girl's not exactly unscathed from the beastie's clutches, so I'll stay back for a spot of repairs. Good luck on the lance hut, what? Who's there? Are you from the outside? What's wrong? I thought I heard a voice. A voice? Whose? All that salt air gets your head. Our chances out here already aren't looking too good. So, how do we find this lance? Ideally, we blend in with the locals, gather information. But if they really are all Mustari, that might be a bit tricky. Let's see. To start with, we could try staying hidden and observing the village from afar. Sounds like a right hassle. How many days would you have us playing hide and seek? Fair point. How long can we actually stay on this island? Well... Given the deadline for arriving in Altabury, it would be best to get the lance and leave by September the 5th. The sooner we're out of here, the better. Let's go. Hey, does this place look familiar to you? We may be a bit lost. Uh. We're kidding. We can't afford to get lost on some godforsaken island. This is a disaster! Oh, I'm sweating through my outfit! And these weird bugs... I've had enough! What I give for a snack and a cold tub to dump me head in? Need you voice every little complaint! You are not the only ones enduring this trek! Quiet a moment! Running water nearby. Sounds like an open space. Could be a natural spring of some kind. What? Really? Let's head that way! 
Phew. I suppose we might as well if we're lost. Whoa! <laughs> it's drinkable. Much clearer than the capital's <laughs> water, too. Oh, brilliant. I could use a dip to get the salt Hold off on. me. <laughs> Who are you? Can you hear me? Then surely you must be a messenger of the Dragon God. Is something in it? I'm imagining things. <sighs> C could it be a villager? You must be the. Priestess! Hmm? Hey, Del! Let's go! Mainlanders! You're not of this island! Wait, listen! Seize them! <laughs> Behave yourselves! Now, you, you're a candidate for the throne, are you not? Hmm. He had to steal Dracodias, no doubt. And not content with that, you befouled the priestess's cleansing pool. We need hear nothing further. You shall all be executed. Fastest trial I've had. Calm down. First off, you can't kill a candidate. Have you not heard of the king's magic? You beg for your life in vain, wretch. Hail. I'm told the priestess is ready. Accept your fate. You're not getting out either way. What do we do now? It seems the brothers have fled. Perhaps they've gone to report to Neurus. Hmm. I doubt it. Those thugs are here for the Lance alone. They care nothing for us. We can work with that. Can't return without the Lance anyway. But I'd rather see if we can break ourselves out, instead of counting on them to save us. By the way, anyone else find it strange that they recognized a candidate at a glance? I wasn't expecting news to travel this far. Probably my fault, I'm afraid. They had a lot of questions, and they weren't, uh, gentle about asking. Well, fancy meeting you here. What did you do this time? Oh, you wound me, sir. Uh, I was hoping the word of the crown theocracy might be worth something here. Turns out, they prefer chains to questions. But why are you here? Why else? I heard some helpless, boneheaded twit of a candidate cross the waters to Virga Island, so I naturally had to follow. I'd thought stowing away on that Mastari candidate ship might get me safely on the island, and, well... And now who's the helpless twit? This is ridiculous! Why would a crier go to such lengths anyway? Seemed as good an opportunity as any. I wanted a peek behind the Sanctus Curtain, see what the truth really is. For now, we may as well be patient. You'll have your opening soon enough. The people here... Well, you'll find they aren't as monolithic as they'd like. Have you heard? The Sanctus Church has ordered its adherents to seize all divine relics. Those zealots go too far. Surely this must be the reason for the Dragon God's wrath. Don't be alarmed, everyone. Please remain calm. Master Adeni, there are trespassers upon our island, from ships other than the trade vessels. But we have already captured them. Reportedly, one is a candidate, and one is a crier from the Sanctus Church. They seek Dracodios, the lance of the Dragon God. Until now, the Church has hesitated to intrude in our homeland. We can only assume they are making their move. I knew it. They think they're untouchable. No offense is beneath them. That 
damned fawn. He's not just after our relics. He would silence us forever. Master Adeni, put them to death! Let us see justice served! Wait! Our captives have done nothing to hurt any of the islanders. Why do you hesitate? If they would pervert our dearest beliefs, then they deserve only to be sacrificed. Our livestock are all maddened by disease. Our seas are infested with grotesque horrors. And now, even our fields lie dead and fallow. The dragon god must be appeased, as we shall never survive his wrath. It has been our way since time immemorial. When disaster strikes, we offer a sacrifice to the dragon god that he might ease our woes. It is the most basic of our teachings. Everyone, calm down. All this talk of justice, of sacrifice. Master Adeni, would you see us repeat the tragedy of the past? With all respect, you abandoned your chase for the throne. You returned to your rightful home. Surely you have accepted that our traditions are the only way. Because of your indecision, because you faulted in your faith to the Dragon God, your father and mother both, I will have silence. Master Adeni, please, the sacrifice. We cannot simply suffer in silence. My brother, do not fear. I have just purified myself for the spring. I'm ready to serve as our people's sacrifice. Yufa. I am a priestess. I have known from birth that my life's greatest impact would be as an offering to the Dragon God. Indeed, it brings me great pride. I can serve my village in a way the priestesses in times of peace could not. If our island might be saved, I will gladly give my life for it. Oh, bless you, Priestess Yufa. We will not forget your sacrifice. This will surely appease the Dragon God. You are our last hope. Priestess Yufa, our salvation, our future. Prepare the ship. I will accompany her to the altar in the Dragon Temple, where Draco Dios rests. You catch that? The Dragon Temple? Sounds like that's where we'll find our lads. I did a bit of reading on Virga Island once. Army reports say it's surrounded by an archipelago, otherwise uninhabited. And one of them islands is nothing but a massive temple. Not another soul on them. Strange lot, these pagans. Gotta be bloody stupid to build your big important temple out where nobody can get to it. Could be. Or maybe they weren't the ones who built it. Either way, we'll need a ship. Sounds like we better hurry and bail our new crewmates out. All this stink in the square probably means less guards on duty. Ugh. Come on, Del, we can't leave them high and dry. The fair lady Juna likes them, don't she? And the fair lady's the only one we have to rescue. Awful cold, Del. Not getting attached now, are you? You knew going in they might be our traitors. Look, you want to work together? Then let me do the thinking, right? I've got all this under control. Oh. Hey, Del, you're not still hurting from the sea battle, are you? I'm fine. We'll wait till nightfall. Shadowy business, all this. Lady Juna. Let's get those bindings off. Easy does it now. Calm down, you amateurs. Oh, thanks. I'd hoped you'd come back for us. We know where the lance is. Let's move. Wait, aren't you going to untie the others? We're your bodyguards, not theirs. What? Since when do you follow orders to the letter? I've already told you we can't trust these people, and now it's clear we can't even trust them to protect you. He did a fine enough job saving your life out at sea. Del! He's one of us now. Lord Luis gave him direct personal orders, and you'd still leave him to die. I promised Lord Luis I'd keep an eye on him too. If you get him killed, I'm the one who's failed. Hear, hear. Three appropriately stealthy cheers for cooperation. 
and I'd be very much obliged if some generous spirit could get me untied too. Ugh, better to let a church leech rot. You're annoying and you talk too much. Haha, <laughs> yeah, I get that a lot. Funny thing though, I get more chatty the more distress I'm in, and I'm quite beside myself here. We could just shut him up permanently. No, Del, we don't want to leave a mess. If things get dicey, we've got some meat shields at the least, eh? Gonna need all the manpower we can get if we want that lance. Hmm. Is the lance somewhere dangerous? Well, about that. Turns out this dragon god might be a bit more real than we thought. And more bent out of shape. They're sacrificing some village last to it. And the crowd was scared stiff besides. We can't rule out that this dragon's more than a folktale. So we're to face a dragon? Well, that's just lovely. Untie everyone this instant. Or do you fancy better chances with fewer swords? Oh, fine, I get it. Just give me a second. Oi, kid. Don't make me regret this. Nice to be back on the team. You're completely mental, you know that? Just don't drag us down. Fine, just get over here and I'll let you loose. Oh, you're going last. Considering the size of the island, there's only the one settlement. The chief's young, too, goes by Edeni or something. Edeni? Was he not the Mastari candidate we met before? I'd no idea he was this island's ruler. He and the sacrificial maiden are headed for the temple on one of the deserted islands. That's where we find the lance. Oh, and the girl marked for death is his sister. His own sister? Something about appeasing the dragon god's anger. All these islanders worship it, and they say the calamities come from its fury. Is that true? Of course not. Just don't know whether all this superstition is rooted around an actual dragon or a made-up one. Fair point. I'm curious about this Draco Dios being a divine relic myself. If it was found in that temple, then the temple's probably an ancient ruin. Might be the perfect den for a dragon. Should this creature exist, mortal sacrifice is beyond all reason. No torment is worth taking an innocent life for. Oh, that's rich from a fallen knight. You think nobody makes sacrifices out there in the real world? Or is all that below you, eh? You ask me, I say at least these people are doing what needs to be done. Huh, fair enough. Though it would seem beyond the pale, it is not our scale of morality that measures them. Yet... <laughs> Yet I refuse to stand idly by while innocent lives are at stake. Who cares about what they do with their lives? We're here for the Lance. Got enough problems without you trying to fix theirs. <laughs> These people offer up their very lives for peace. They'd only ever told me these lands were wild and uncivilized, but it's like seeing sanctism reflected in a mirror. We'll get the spear, of course, but we won't let anyone die. That should be good enough. We've been saying it since the beginning. We help anyone in need. No exceptions. Right, my friend? Yeah, that settles it. Indeed. Tis the path we've chosen. Let us withdraw to the Sea Runner first. It shall bear us across the waters to this Temple Island. <laughs> Go on. Give them a chance. <laughs> Please, help my sister. Wait. Please. Please help. My sister Yufa. The temple full of Makla. Pull yourself together, man. Sir, he's barely breathing. Did he just say Magla? I wonder what happened. We need to get him to the Gauntlet Runner. No, it is too deep a wound for its capabilities. To the village, then. What, are you mad? You just broke yourselves out of that damned place. We cannot leave him to die. I don't understand you lot. No, this could work out for us. He's the island's chief. 
right? If we save his life, the whole village might come around on us. What are you talking about? We already know where the lance is. All we have to do now is take it. And how about this? I'll follow him because I'm assigned to keep an eye on him. And you have to keep an eye on me because you're my bodyguards, right? <sighs> Fine. Be my guest. But if it comes down to you or the lance, you know I'll have to take the lance. Whatever happens, I can't trust anyone but my family. And my Lord Luis. Well, Batlin, looks like you'll have to repay the favor a bit earlier than expected. Go tell Nurus what's going on. To be honest, it's possible we won't make it back. Getting a bit messy, this. Not that I mind. Consider the favor returned. The gauntlet runner's just further down, right? Right. We'll carry this man back to the village. Give me a hand. Where am I? Chief! I'm still... alive. You're in one of my spare rooms at the inn. You see, these people brought you here. Wonders never cease. It's you. But you were being hunted. How did you manage to return safely? Two of my companions acted as decoys to draw the soldiers away. That was all it took for us to sneak in. Chief, what happened? Where is your sister? We made it to the temple, but the air was thick with magla. Some of the island's beasts have turned feral. You mean... the Melancholia set in? They made short work of our guards. Euphor and I were separated. I was the only one who fled to the sea. My word! Then we need to gather more troops. If we don't act, the ritual... No. Our soldiers cannot stand against those horrors. We'd only be sending more to their deaths. But... Then we can do the honors. We've our own reasons to see the lads. And such monsters do not frighten us. But there's something I need to ask you first. Assuming we find your sister, what would you have us do with her? Are we ensuring you complete the sacrificial ritual? Or are we bringing her back? <sighs> Please, bring her home. When we left for the Temple Island, I'd intended to let Yufa escape. But when I saw no fear or hesitation in her eyes, I... I faltered. That's when I realized. It's not just the fate of the island that we've placed on her shoulders. She's been trying to bear all our fears and anxieties. Her life is in your hands. Even if her sacrifice would save us, I don't care. Please save her from the curse we've placed on her. <laughs> Well said. Spoken like a true leader. Leave it to us. I pledge we will see her safely returned. You've no objections, I trust, Captain? Yes. Let's get her back. Right. We're not in the business of abandoning people. Right. We'll save your sister. In return, though, would you be willing to lend us Dracodios? So be it. What? That is the very symbol of our faith! If they've the strength to overcome the Temporal's trials, then they could have already taken the Lance for themselves. Yet still they seek permission. I trust them. It seems like they really do believe in what they say. But they're not like us. They're outsiders. It doesn't matter what tribe they are. They are people just like us. If the race on the mainland taught me anything, it's that. Wait, it'll take more than a day to save her, right? Not to be morbid, but will your sister survive that long? She knows those halls better than I do. If she's found a safe enough chamber, she can stay out of sight. And I made sure to bring food to the temple when we left. She could survive for even four weeks. Yufa is a priestess. She knows her life is too valuable to the ritual not to keep going. Your offenses will be pardoned. Anything you need, I'll try to provide. So please, save Yufa. Well, glad we talked our way out of being thrown back in a cell. This place is rather cozy, especially compared to a prison. To be free of the bugs is its own comfort. Wait, weren't you staying in Broilhaven? 
What kind of rundown hovels do you board in? Finally, we may come and go as we please. Even if we must bow to Luis's whim, we need not draw the same ire. I know, right? But lifting the prince's curse will only be the beginning. The public has to recognize him as the rightful king too. Considering the road ahead, it might do to help as many people as we can while we hunt the lance. And ideally, keep the other candidates in check too. All done with negotiations, are ya? I don't know what we'd do without you. It's amazing how you can lead those guards on such a long chase and turn up none the worse for wear. Ha! <laughs> no one alive can catch a couple of Parapus lads in the woods. Our job's to get the lance. I assume that hasn't changed. Then nothing else matters. Well then, let's lay out our situation. Our destination is the Dragon Temple, built on a nearby deserted island. Once there, we search the temple for the divine relic, Dracodios. And while we're in there, we'll also be looking for the village priestess, Yufa. The hell we will! I thought we made it clear we were here for the Lance. According to Edeni, the Lance's actual place in the temple is a close guarded secret, known only to the priestess herself. Never simple, is it? We've got two problems to worry about. Firstly, by now, the temple's positively awash with melancholia. We should expect monsters, and lots of them. And secondly, there is a possibility that this dragon god of theirs is an actual living, and therefore angry, dragon. Hope we don't have a battle like that ahead of us. But we'd better make sure we don't lose if we do. And be quick about it, yeah? If you miss your deadline, Lord Luis will assume you're all traitors. That puts our deadline in... 17 days. Beyond that, we can't say if the priestess would survive. Um, your pardon? You all are... Uh, you're going to save Priestess Yufa. <laughs> Wouldn't have to if you hadn't sent her to die. Yes, I know. You're exactly right. But you have to understand, not everyone here wanted sacrifice. To see a girl her age going willingly to die. She's as young as my own child, it's not right! So please... We will see the girl safely home. You have our word. It was a strange irony. We came only for the lance, but even that pursuit has earned us a chance to save a life. Oddly familiar. You sought me intent on capture, and instead convinced me to join you. You have a knack for opening doors others have closed. <laughs> well, let's get some rest for tomorrow. Getting lost in the wild and captured by soldiers really takes it out of you. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. Concludo qui il mio video. Se volete seguirmi, iscrivetemi al canale. 